It's the 1st of September 2018 already, and this is Pride Totnes. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. 
Pride. <laughs> Mother's pride. Mother's pride. <laughs> Advertisements or whatever. So there's ways around it without letting it completely take over the parade or take over the events. You just need to find ways to do it. Um, I completely sympathize with you as well. I um, live in Bristol currently, so I know the kind of um, environment that's there. Um, me. So um, this year we did notice there was um, a, like a sort of counteractive. Uh, event on Facebook which is called Pride but not Pride. I, I went, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there was that, which is kind of like the, the opposite of the, the kind of drinking clubbing side of it. But also noticing a lot of Prides now, including like as well, you've got these um, sort of more safe spaces, so like chill out zones, um, family spaces and stuff like that. And I feel like, especially with the family aspect of it, uh, the quality of a Pride, can, I feel like, can be judged by how family inclusive it is and how um, you know, how many kids and parents you see there. So it feels like having those kind of quiet spaces for people who maybe don't like those noisy environments want to bit shut up space um, is really good. Um, and it kind of counteracts that really commercial side. You can't really make money out of having a few cushions and a lava lamp on the floor. Um, so it feels like we want to have more of those spaces kind of to weigh that out. And then maybe there's going to be you know, the option then to give people that alternative. Um, and then, you know, from that, We've also got a lot of people in the LGBT community who have anxiety problems or you know, want to get away from the crowds and it just seems like that's a nice kind of remedy for that. It's not a process, it's not. But perhaps it's the institutionalisation of pride. It's not just your virgins. What do we do about uh, the police, the army, the air force, the ambulance parade, the firefighters? We have to make think about that and those decisions. And if you go to somewhere like Black Pride, um, one police force, five, but you don't just get the Sussex police, you get the Sussex police, the Kent police, the Dorset police, probably even the Denver police. So I think oh, that whole side of things, the institutions, it's difficult, isn't it? Because we're lots and lots of different groups of people running different prides. There's not this big pride in the sky like some god. And therefore, nobody can lay down what should happen. But it's completely right to have the sort of discussion we've had today. <laughs> Thanks to Proud To Be and everyone in Top Ness. You can find them on Facebook. Music with great thanks by Jasmine from Plymouth. This has been a Crystal Muffield Video 2018. You can contact me at photo 12 at hotmail.com and if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can pay by me at CCSphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. 